What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're gonna be diving into Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine is one of the most powerful softwares to have come out this past decade. It's extremely useful for creating video games, animated short films, and photorealistic real-time renders. Not only that, but it is completely free to download and start creating with. There have been some insane improvements to make creating an Unreal Engine that much faster, easier, and fun. If this is your first time here on the channel, I highly recommend you guys hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super stoked stuff that we got planned. We talk about all sorts of motion graphics, VFX, and 3D design. And if you guys are already subscribed, I want to send a huge thank you because you're bringing us that much closer to our goal of hitting 500,000 subscribers. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance, they're just too dope to compare like that. But the final three on the list are the ones that have inspired me the most, so make sure you stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on that one. Today's episode is super special because we have Jonathan Wimbush, who is an award-winning motion graphics artist and an absolute expert in Unreal Engine. He's worked on Iron Man, Fantastic Four, Transformers, Lego Batman 2, Lego Harry Potter, as well as My Little Pony. He's here to help us today learn more about some of these works and how we can incorporate these techniques into projects of our own. What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to be with my homies over at Black Mixture. If you guys want to deep dive into any of these projects and learn how you can really improve your Unreal Engine skills, I highly recommend you check out his channel. All right, without further ado, let's hop right into the list. Coming in at number 10. So this one's called Hidden Valley by Saga Aliyabi. The thing that's really dope about this, he's taking complete use of Unreal Engine 5 and taking advantage of the Nanite technology to so see that he sculpted the stuff out here inside of blender first and some of these assets are actually three million vertices which is completely insane plus the handheld camera work great job can't wait to see more of your stuff at number nine dean vfx brings us this animation that includes some really awesome comic book art style vfx in this what's really cool about this is that we have these vfx included whenever this character hits this other character and i think this would look awesome in a video game i really love the use of colors and how vibrant these animations came out this looks amazing great work dean vfx and i hope to see more here we go with number eight so this one is called luminescent by row 2 entertainment the thing that's really dope about this it reminds me of the old school movie the blair witch project where everything is handheld it looks like he's actually holding up like an iphone or android phone and walking through this cave if you listen to the audio the audio kind of connects everything together you can hear the birds and the nature and there's even some voice commentary of the guy as he's going through this scene so it's a complete package of everything immersed in the one thing very dope work here number seven on the list yo okay this one is freaking insane this comes from dj who brings us this delta zero one animation created entirely in unreal engine i really love how you bring us this nostalgic look and use these beautiful animations to bring your scenes to life not only that but huge props for including a breakdown so that we can figure out a little bit more into the intricacies of how this was even created great work dj and i hope to see more if you guys are enjoying the creators on this list it mean a whole lot if you went ahead and hit that like button it does a tremendous amount for helping the youtube algorithm and it also warms my heart so huge thanks to you guys all right let's get right back into the list popping in at number six so next up by yours truly Wimbush here this one is for epic games i recreated the unreal engine logo my project here was to recreate the unreal engine logo in like a fall guys type setting so i made great use of unreal engine i did some motion capture with the Rococo suit and then I also did some handheld camera work with my iPad to control all the motions in there so I actually did do a tutorial and a complete breakdown if you guys wanted to make something similar yourself. All right we're about halfway through the list at number five. Yo okay this next one is freaking insane. This was a moss garden created in Unreal Engine 5 based off of the prompt Taurus in a bottle. Leo Taurus brings us this insane photorealistic render using Nanite and Lumen to really make this scene pop. What's so impressive about this is just how vibrant how rich all these details are and how he's able to use nanite in unreal engine for the meshes lumen for the global illumination and rtx reflections and translucency as well as quixel mega scans and custom assets that were modeled and textured in blender this is an amazing work and i love how beautiful and photorealistic it came out great work leo torres and i hope to see more rolling up to number four 
so what we have here is by a really dope artist cs toller what you're seeing right here is he took inspiration from star wars rogue one and he recreated some of the scenes all inside the unroll engine which turned out really dope because we have some explosions in there which I, I believe he used like niagara particle systems and everything i thought this was a really great use of showing how you could do vfx inside of real time engines that kind of give you something that give you that cinematic effect that you would see inside of movies okay things are really heating up we're down to the final three at number three on the list here we have an impressive work from lorenzo drago who brings us this etu diamond station created entirely in unreal engine i really love the great use of lighting and textures and environment elements to really create this impressive photorealistic result not only that but he adds in some great handheld camera and camera exposure effects to really sell this and make it feel like we're really there in that station and it's almost indistinguishable to tell whether or not this is 3d or if this is real if you guys are curious to learn how to actually include handheld camera motion in your unreal engine project check out jonathan winbush's channel because he has a great tutorial for diving into that anyways i love your work lorenzo drago and i hope to see more coming in at number two so this next piece is by one of my former students her name is feeding wolves what she's doing here is giving an example of how you could do real-time motion capture inside of unreal engine 5 using a motion capture suit and what's really dope is she actually has a motion capture helmet with the camera attached to the end of it so not only is she capturing her body movements she's also capturing her face movements all in real time so big shout out to you feeding wolves on this meta human demonstration and last but not least at number one airborne studios brings us this amazing short film created entirely in unreal engine 5 what's super impressive about this is the beautiful character design the amazing environment and details as well as the animations that really make this pop i love this stylized art style and how well all of these elements come together to bring us this really impressive looking piece not only that but it is entirely rendered in real time which is just mind-blowing to imagine i love your work a lot airborne studios and i hope to see more if you guys are curious to learn how to start creating an unreal engine i highly recommend you check out john Jonathan Winbush's channel because he can take you from a complete beginner to an expert in Unreal Engine 5. I don't know what you guys are still doing here. Go ahead, check out these videos. There's so much super interesting stuff to learn. And as always, I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.